Hello my wonderful friends, Magus with you on a beautiful day in Asha. The great Sufi poet Rumi, he said that every tree and plant in the meadow is dancing, but those with average eyes only see fixed and still. By the end of this short message, my friends, I want you to see the, the magic, the energy that's behind all form and matter because my friends when we start to create from that place when we're not just creating from formation but we're creating from inspiration we can change everything uh, I, I want you to think about every time you cut yourself and it heals by itself I want you to think about the buds on the trees that come every spring I want you to think about the rivers that flow down into the oceans and, and then it evaporates and goes back into rain and keeps that cycle going. What is that? What is your very consciousness, the, the, the very consciousness that you're experiencing watching this video right now? My friends, when you can tap in to that energy, to that truth, you, you can do anything because that, that is a place, what we call, right, the, the holy ohm, the original word, it, it, it's order, it's harmony, it's Asha, it's the perfect creator's perfect idea. And you know our emblem here, Asha come. For Asha to come, you have to know what it is and you're not gonna find it with your natural senses. And that's why I love this 14th verse of the Tao Te Ching, listen to this. It says, that which cannot be seen is called invisible. That which cannot be heard is called inaudible. That which cannot be held is called intangible. These three cannot be defined. Therefore, they are merged as one. Stay with me. This is so important. It says each of these three is subtle for description. By intuition, you can see it, my friends. I, I want you to learn how by your intuition to, to see and to hear and to feel because it will change everything. You know, we've talked about this before. The great inventors, they didn't get their information from a book or a teacher. They had to go inside for that inspiration and they created something new out of that place. They didn't cr create out of what was already in books, already information. They went to a deeper place and they made something new and, and, and that's what we need to learn to do. L let's read on for a minute. It says, hear it, feel it. Then the unseen, unheard, and untouched are present as one. It, it, its rising brings no dawn. It's setting no darkness. It goes on and on, unnameable, returning to nothingness. I, I want to talk about that unnameable. It, that's so important. Here at the Order of the Magi on our channel here over the last four years, you've learned a new language, new names, because when we put a name on something, we take power away from it. We, we cage it in. A great example of that is uh, when we say God, depending on where you were born in the world, it's going to bring an idea to your mind that you were taught uh, that has become your truth of what God is. So, so uh, you might think of Jehovah. You might think of Allah. You know, and, and that brings with it all the stories that you've heard, and that keeps you in a box, my friends. And and that's why we've learned Ahura Mazda. It's a whole new name, but but it goes even farther than that. There's unnameable that that uh, it's not with the senses. It's not with words. It's with word vibration. And to do that, we need to take the time to connect with that, to go out and watch a stream flowing and hear the language that it speaks, and to, to watch a bud come out on a rose bush and hear that language, to look into an animal's eyes and, and see God, to be able to take the time to see God in you, that you're, the very life energy inside of you is God. And my friends, we don't try to name it. We don't add stories that we've heard to it. We just experience it. We're just aware of what's going on, my friends. And that's when you start to tap in 
to the mind of God and to Asha, the perfect creator's perfect idea. And then it says, I love this. It says, approach it and there's no beginning. Follow it and there's no end. You cannot know it, but you can be it. Now, when it's talking about you cannot know it, it's saying with your senses, uh, okay, uh, but you can be it. And oh my God, I absolutely love that, my friends. And, and so to to do that, to, to contact God, that energy, that holy own without your senses, I'm going to ask you today, just take 10 minutes to be aware, just to be aware of your breath and that life that's in you, that life that you feel is God, is that holy ohm, is a perfect creator's perfect idea. Go out into nature and feel that holy ohm with your, with your heart of hearts, my friends. You're going to start to tap into that good God, that God good, which of course takes us, oh, to Asha 13, my all-time favorite. If you got Asha flipped to it, it says the original word, that's what we're talking about here, that vibration that we're sensing with our heart of hearts. It says that original word of the good religion is that all good comes from the creator. My friends, when you tap into that place, all the lion illusion is going to start to disappear and you're going to only sense in that good, that harmony, that order, that Asha, that comes from God. And then I love this part. It says from that original word is the spiritual world made straight. So when you get to that place in that meditation and that awareness and that awakening, your spiritual world starts to vibrate right. And then it says your material world is then brought into order. That's what we're talking about. Creating from inspiration, my friends. And then of course, you know how it ends. It says the original word of false religion is that evil comes from the creator. And this false idea is all the evil that creatures suffer. We can end all suffering in the world if we would as a collective consciousness just do this exercise. Just tap into that perfect creator's perfect idea and then we be it. We vibrate it and we create it in our world. That's what I love about Asha, the message of the Magi. It's so simple and it's so beautiful. Guys, I love you so much. So proud of everything you guys are doing. If you like what we do here, please share it with someone today. And know I love, love, love you.